Welcome back guys. In this video tutorial, I'll be talking about a unique concept that is called the phage display or phage display technique. Phage display technique is a technique with which we find out protein-protein interaction or protein-DNA interaction or protein-peptide interaction. There are many other ways to find out protein-protein interaction like yeast 2 hybrid system or uh, there are also many other types but phage display or phage display plot process uh, is kind of unique and is very interesting to know so that's why I'm sharing this video with you so what is a uh, phage display uh, the idea between behind this phage display is to separate certain proteins I mean to find out a specific protein inside a cell right and also to separate and find out which other protein that protein is interacting with right so what we do in this case simply uh, we use a fibrous fudge fibrous or filamentous not actually fibrous filamentous fudge for example m13 m13 bacteriophage is a filamentous bacteriophage uh, the structure is like just like a filament and you see in this bacteriophage there is a dna it's a dna fudge also there is a double stranded dna present inside the fudge uh, as a genetic material and there is a fudge coat uh, denoted here with this blue color segment now the idea here is that uh, the genome of the phage that is present there also contains the gene that is coding uh, the capsid proteins and the phage coat proteins right uh, so in this case we are adding a specific target protein that we want to find out or that uh, the interaction we want to find out let's say a protein is protein x and we want to know where exactly this protein x bind inside cell right we want to know the binding of this x with dna or any other proteins inside a liver cell for example so we take that protein and we that we take that gene of that protein x this is the protein x gene so we take that gene and let's say this is the phage genome and we just place that gene somewhere there in the close proximity of the virus coat protein so these are the section which produces coat protein and we place our gene desired gene somewhere in the middle of that coat protein coding section of the virus genome so what will happen if the coat proteins will be made the protein x which is not necessary inside the phage to function any anything that protein will also be coded uh, and translated as a protein uh, as a format of coat protein so that protein will be made as a coat protein and we can see that coat protein attached to some place uh, in in the back viral coat okay so what we are doing we are placing a genetic and we are placing a gene for a protein inside the protein coding region of the phage dna and that is in turn generating that protein and placing it as a coat protein outside so that means there is a genotype and phenotype link a linkage that you see inside the genotype that is present here in the phage is also reflecting its phenotype that is in the coat protein so this is the desired protein say this black one red one or green one whichever we we can do this with different types of proteins of our desire so once we prepare that then what we do we have cell or tissue we have a slide in the slide we place our cell or tissue we fix that tissue completely immobilize that tissue completely so that cell or tissue contains several different proteins or DNA or different components, whatever they are present. Now what we allow, we add this phage population there, right? Once we add the phage population there, you see this is the immobilized region and this is the particular protein with which the interaction we are checking and we add rest of the phage mixture there. The phage will carry, remember the phage will carry all the type of three different varieties of proteins are there right now then we wash it for removing excess phage particles and we see that the phage particle with the black proteins in the coat are released after elution that means the black protein that is present in the coat is not in involving or interacting with this type of cell or tissue right but rest of this red and green one is still bound then what we do we elude those phage and then we amplify those phage and then we take out each of those proteins from that phage check their sequence and check their function so that to know how exactly the binding is done so let's say these are in, in the slide we have the tissue in the tissue we have specific regions specific let's say dna we have another protein say this is a protein this is protein a 
we want to know whether the protein is black, red or green binds with protein A. It turns out after this process, we see that the protein Y and Z is can bind with protein A because X cannot bind with protein A because X is already elute out because it is not bound there. So this is a technique. We prepare an immobilized stage with a specific tray, so right, with a specific bait, I mean whatever is present there, a specific tray where we, exactly the protein will bind and we also produce the bait using different proteins and we can take different phage and we can encode that gene, we can take that gene, make that gene and place that gene inside uh, the phage coat, coat protein region so that that, coat, uh, that protein will be made as a coat protein and will be placed uh, outside uh, the bacteriophage uh, coat so that we can figure out the protein-protein interaction or protein-peptide interaction. Now imagine we can do that for all the type of, we can do that for all the type of uh, proteins that we can do. I mean, uh, we can produce a protein library with this system. See here, uh, what we are doing here, we are taking out a specific section of the gene and we are placing it into bacterial fast gene and we place that gene inside so that we get a protein out. Once we get that protein out and we have immobilized section that can bind, rest of the uh, proteins which will not bind will be eluted out but the protein will bind, we'll take that out and we scan it, analyze it for the rest of the part. This is how the whole thing works. See here, this is how the whole thing works. Binding, washing and elution and finally amplification of that specific fudge and then analyzing the specific fudge for that coat protein which are binding to specific target uh, which we use, right. So amplification of fudge is very easy. We can simply plate that in bacterial culture because bacteriophage is a virus against bacteria. So they can grow on bacterial culture and easily we can take them out and do the rest of the stages. So that's a very good thing about phage display. Why we call it the phage display? Because the protein of interest that we are inserting, the gene for the protein of interest that we are inserting inside the phage genome here. Uh, then after the translation, that protein will be displayed outside of that phage coat. That's why it's called phage display process. Okay. So that's it. It's very easy guys, if you like this video, please subscribe to my channel, hit the like button and share this video with your friends. Thank you.